Like these cherry blossoms, travel season is reawakening as temperatures inch upward. We board the ferry for some island time on Martha's Vineyard. These 96 square miles just south of Cape Cod are famous as a summertime playground for the well-heeled. This island is three times the size of Manhattan. 17 million people have immediate access to the island of Manhattan. Here in Martha's Vineyard, we have as many as 130, 140,000 in the month of August when it's at its busiest. Year round, however, the vineyard is home to just 17,000 residents, including author and historian Skip Finley. He's fond of springtime here with good reason. The lilies and different flowers start coming up and the whole island starts changing. The water even changes from kind of a gray to a blue green. The island's six towns, Vineyard Haven, Oak Bluffs, Edgartown, West Tisbury, Chilmark, and Aquina have distinct personalities, says Jackie Stallings. She owns The Ritz, a bar and restaurant in Oak Bluffs, nicknamed OB. There's something about OB that's just, it's a little bit different. It's loose, it's fun, this is a party town. And then you go up island and you just feel like you're in Scotland. Spring here has its rewards. Chilmark's Lucy Vincent Beach is normally open only for residents, except in the off season. In Aquina, these dramatic clay cliffs near the Gayhead Lighthouse draw visitors from the world over. The paths are virtually empty now. Summer will be very different. No crowds line the streets of Edgartown with its immaculately kept historic houses, boutiques, and restaurants. People love Martha's Vineyard because of scenes like this, the Edgartown Harbor Light, one of the most iconic spots on the island. Rebuilt in 1939 after a hurricane, the Edgartown Harbor Light is a favorite location for a stroll or a sunrise photograph. Directly across the way, the Harborview Hotel, an A-lister's hotel of choice since it opened in 1891, 130 years ago. This is awesome. Here we go. The Harborview provides guests with bikes to use at their leisure. Gotta love a nice scenic bike ride while on the island. An ideal way to explore this former whaling port. I just love the natural beauty of the island. This hotel is very personal for me. I have been visiting Mother's Senior for a long, long time, and this is almost like a dream for me. A dream that Harborview Hotel owner Bernard Chu embraced in full. He spent more than 15 million to renovate the resort and its 117 rooms. While COVID-19 rocked the hospitality industry, Chu kept staff employed and hired others furloughed from their jobs. This is a very, very good investment uh, for the hotel. Uh, and we build a very, very strong relationship uh, with the staff here. And our goal is to become a five-star hotel, make this one of the best hotels in the Eastern Sea Coast. We couldn't resist a peek at the Presidential Sky House, the creme de la creme of suites here. More typical rooms are plenty luxurious as well. I feel very proud that I'm the steward of the hotel. It's just very, very special. One question often posed to residents, who is Martha and where is the vineyard? The exact answer is uncertain, but Skip Finley says credit goes to 17th century English explorer, Bartholomew Gosnold. That was his daughter's name, it was his mother's name, who knows? There are grapes that grow wild on Martha's Vineyard. Conquered grapes, muscatel grapes, some other kind of wild variations. The island's original name, however, came from Wampanoag tribes who have lived here for 10,000 years. The Native American community called it Nope or Noepe, which stands for land amidst the waters. Despite the vineyard's evolution into a household name, Finley says one feeling remains. The vineyard's a place where you don't really have to catch your breath. You never lose it. You get to keep it. Just gorgeous. And business owners on the island are expecting a bustling summer season with many hotels already booked solid. Now, the Harborview Hotel received some really nice news for its 130th anniversary year. Travel and Leisure magazine put the hotel on its IT 
Island's 2021 it list. Some island residents tell us that spring and fall are better times to visit. It's less crowded and you can find parking, which can be pretty tough during the summer. Coming up, we are tasting kimchi.